welcome to the second part of algebra shortcut trick in part 1 i shared a shortcut trick using which you were able to solve questions shown on your screen within seconds if you haven't watched that video i recommend you to watch that moving ahead i am going to share you another trick using which you would be able to solve more similar looking but complex questions let's see some sample questions as you can see these questions appear to be tough because it's difficult to find the value of x solving this question using factorization method either takes too much time or you even fail to find the value of x in some cases in this tutorial i will show you how to solve this kind of question within seconds before i start which i recommend you to stop this video for a while and note down this table i have created it exclusively for you and believe me it's very helpful i will show you how in part 1 i have already discussed questions based on first two values of this table so i will also i will be discussing questions based on expression which are inside red rectangle only if you are done with uh, noting the values uh, how do how to use this table so whenever you see question which starts with if condition and says uh, something like if x plus 1 by x is equal to 1 consider x cube is equal to minus 1 when it says x, if x plus 1 by x is equal to minus 1 consider x cube is equal to 1 and when it says if x if x plus 1 by x is equal to root 3 consider the value of x to the power 6 is equal to minus 1 don't bother about the other part which says when power difference is 3 value of expression will be 0 or when power difference is 6 the value of expression will be 0 i will explain the same two questions uh, don't worry in case you are not able to understand what i am trying to say i will explain everything two question so let's start solving question so as you can see yourself the our first question starts with the condition if x plus 1 by x is equal to 1 uh, then find the value of x to the power 6 plus x to the power 3 plus 2 so as i said whenever you see a question starting with the condition if x plus 1 by x is equal to 1 consider the value of x cube is equal to minus 1 so we need to find the value of x to the power 6 plus x cube plus 2 so can we write this the same expression in this form definitely we can write so uh, now uh, we have the expression put the value of x cube is equal to minus 1 and you will get 2 as your answer Then that is the early test took one to two seconds. Now move on to the next question. It says if x square plus one is equal to x, then uh, the value of x to the power twelve plus x to the power six plus one is what? So many of you might say this is um, this question is not of the type uh, x plus one by x equal to one because it. Doesn't start with the condition if x plus one by x or something like that, right? But uh, it's the same type of question. Let me show you how. So it says if x square plus one by uh, x square plus one is equal to x. So divide the whole equation by x, and you will get x plus one by x is equal to one. So bingo! If again we have got the Uh, same condition that is if x plus 1 by x is equal to 1 so we can consider x cube is equal to minus 1 now what we are looking to find x to the power value of x to the power 12 plus x to the power 6 plus 1 so we can write this uh, expression in this form and uh, uh, once you uh, break this uh, the, break the original expression in this form We put the value of x to the power three is equal to minus one, and we will get the value of value is equal to three. This is our answer. Now let's move to the next question. 
it's again a similar question where we need to find the value of x to the power 4 plus x plus 12 since it starts with if x square plus 1 is equal to x it's the same form it's of the same form which means x plus 1 by x is equal to 1 now there is a twist in this question you can see it's uh, uh, you can't directly put the value of x cube is equal to minus 1 so what will you do compare the powers that is 4 and 1 and subtract it if you get 3 as your answer simply put 0 in place of both ok so here in case the value of x to the power 4 plus x is equal to 0 because the, the, the sense of their power is 3 so at the end you will get 12 with, as your answer very easy now there is another question now many of you might be thinking that this question is uh, from uh, trigonometry not from algebra right because you, you because you consider questions by seeing the tire resistance theta cot the if any any uh, trigonometric uh, values appear in any question then it's from trigonometry you will have to change your approach uh, i will show you how this question is not from uh, trigonometry and from algebra and how you can solve this kind of questions within seconds so let's start so if we consider tan theta is equal to x then cot theta is will be automatically 1 by x and now we have tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 1 which means that we have x plus 1 by x is equal to 1 so we again have the same if condition which means that we have uh, x cube is equal to minus 1 or we can use another condition that says when power difference is 3 value of expression will be 0 now we need to find the value of 10 to the power 18 theta plus 10 to the power 15 theta plus 10 to the power 12 theta plus 10 to the power 9 theta plus 10 to the power 3 theta is equivalent to x to the power 18 plus x to the power 15 plus x to the power 12 plus x to the power 9 plus x to the power 3 so as you can see the power difference is 3 2 times means mm, in first section first part it is x to the power 18 and second part x to the power 15 if we subtract the uh, subtract their powers we get 3 similarly the power um, after subtracting the power 12 and 9 we get 3 which means that we can put 0 in place of these 4 values at the end we get minus 1 as our answer now there is another condition which says if x plus 1 by x is equal to root 3 so it's, a, it's again a similar question but uh, here you will have to consider the value of x to the power 6 is equal to minus 1 or the power when the power difference is 6 value of expression will be 0 because it's, it's not uh, x plus 1 by x is equal to 1 it says x plus 1 by x is equal to root 3 the approach is same but the value is different we need to find the value of x to the power 18 plus x to the power 12 plus x to the power 6 plus 1 so x plus 1 by x equal to root 3 which means we, we have x to the power 6 is equal to minus 1 and if the power difference is 6 value of expression will be 0 so let's see. subtracting the power that is 18 minus 12 we get 6 which means that we can put 0 in place of both these values and uh, after putting this we get uh, 0 plus x to the power 6 plus 1 again put the value of x to the power 6 is equal to minus 1 so at the end you will get 0 as your answer right so whenever you see this kind of question use the values of, um, given in the table and you will be able to solve you will be able to solve the question within seconds so I will advise you to memorize the values of this table. So 
there is another helpful table which can help you a lot in your exam whenever you see questions like uh, which are start with 8x plus 1y is equal to root 2 and uh, you are asked to find the value of x square plus 1y x square or, or the multiple of 2 x to the power 4 plus 1y x to the power 4 is equal to 0 or 8 or 16 so the answer of uh, those questions will be al always be 0 and if uh, the condition is x plus 1 by x equal to root 3 then the value of x to the x to the power 3 plus 1 by x to the power 3 or x to the power 9 plus 1 by x to the power 9 or x to the power 27 plus x to the local or x to the power 81 plus x to the local equal to 0, always 0 right so at the end uh, we provide you some question for practice visual so here is some question for the practice the correct answer are marked by red symbol try to solve this question using the same approach and if you find anything uh, difficult to understand or uh, you have any doubt you can ask the same through comments through commenting if you like that uh, like our videos uh, please share it and uh, be uh, our subscriber so subscribe uh, to our channel and uh, if you want to request uh, tutorial uh, on any section do the same to comment. We will try our level best to provide you shortcut tricks and tutorial on any topic which are asked in FSA exam. And if you want any improvement in our videos, then also you can suggest so that we can improve. So in part three, uh, we we will be discussing some other tricks was just the part 2 so you might not be able to solve all kind of uh, uh, algebra related questions because algebra is not a small topic so we can't cover in the we can't cover all tricks in only two parts so we will be discussing some other tricks in our next part okay so subscribe to our channel and share with your friends good luck